Perkins here, just a quick little video on how to stuff and flow your RC crankcase. This is a CY 2 bolt. I've used a tungsten bit and this is a Dremel wand. This is the old school one. Um, at a low RPM, I've got taped off the bearings with duct tape. I've gone in and just kind of wrapped up everything. I did a little flow pointing here on the intake side, so it matches on both sides. If you look at your cases together, you just want to determine which side is the intake side. This is where the car goes on this side, so this is the intake side. And that's the side that's going to get the flow pointing into the cases. So, what I've done is just roughed it up all around to get the top layer off. Just something for the steel stick to stick to. And this is what I use. This is JB Weld brand steel stick. You can use the liquid stuff, but at that point you're going to have to find some way to prop it up for 8 to 10 hours to where it doesn't flow out. This stuff, it, um, you gotta work fast. It usually sets in just like five minutes. And you can run it in an hour or two. So what I'm gonna do is just get a nice piece. So this is really sticky, I don't know why. I guess it got hot. But, um, so what you're going to want to do is work very quickly. As soon as you mash this together, it's going to start to cure. So you got to have your surface ready. So, what I'm going to do is make sure this is nice and cleaned off. I'm going to brush it really good. That's about the most you need to clean unless you've ran the engine. This is brand new cases. If you've ran it, you need to use degreaser on the inside. Um, there's a hundred different brands. So you can use a nice heavy degreaser. Just spray it on, rinse it off. I mean, if it's really heavy caked up, if it's really old, it's been really bad oil, pre-mix ran through it, then you're probably gonna need to scrub it a little bit in the bowls when you put the degreaser out and then rinse it off. Um, but yeah, just use your own judgment on that. Let me get this crusty part off of here. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start squishing it together. Smush it till it's all the same dark color. You might want to use gloves. So, but alcohol takes it right off. With the pandemic going on, being 2020, I'm sure everybody's got hand sanitizer. That'll take it right off. So what I'm going to do is just split this in half. I think I put too much, but. Yeah, I think it's too much. <coughs> but once I get it in there, uh, I think that was way too much. So I'm gonna take this down a notch. First the cases. I mean, as far as the amount of stuffing you use, I get better results when I do less stuffing. I mean, there's people that bulge it out, and I don't know. I mean, if you bulge it out, you can always take the Dremel back to it and um, take it back down to whatever thickness you want. So it doesn't hurt to put too much. 
But I usually like to try to get it pretty much right the first time. And you always want to like squish the edges. Just helps keep it sealed. That one's done. This one seems like a lot more. I might have to get some out. You can just brush it to the side and it'll just get the excess out. They look pretty even now. Again, work fast. Have a plan before you mix this stuff because it's going to go quick. As far as durability, the liquid is much more durable than the steel stick, but I rarely have a failure. Up until very recently, I haven't had any failures, other than um, it just completely came unstuck once or twice, but it didn't cause a failure in the engine. Um, I recently had it flake apart, but the customer was running in 109 degree weather and just kept pushing it. He said he felt a problem. I wanted to die out, but he just kept riding, so it's pretty dependable. I don't think you would have to worry about it. So there we go. Both sides are done. Whenever that sets, I'll come back and just smooth the edges out. And then I'll take, I usually take this little wire wheel here and kind of just go over everything and it makes it nice and smoothed out you can flow everything and you're done just try to get it as even as possible thanks for watching